Hello, this is Wiley from Learn to Barbecue. In this video, we're going to review the Thermoworks Smoke X4. I will also be using a drone so we can measure the transmission distance of the thermometer. Plus, drones are just cool. This is my first review where we'll be not talking about a bunch of features. Actually, we're going to be talking about what the product does not have. First, it has no Wi-Fi. One of the number one complaints I hear is my thermometer or grill keeps disconnecting from the Wi-Fi. Many times it's an internet provider having a problem or a router that's misconfigured or just too many devices that overwhelm the signal. The next thing the Smoke X4 does not have is Bluetooth. Personally, except for connecting my phone to my car's audio, I am not a Bluetooth fan. When I walk 25 feet away from a Bluetooth grill or thermometer, it just disconnects. The worst part is Bluetooth devices do not tell you what they are disconnected, so you think they're still working. Now the last thing the Smoke X4 does not need is AC power. It is battery powered and it can run for hours on those batteries. So now when you go camping and you bring your charcoal grill, and you want to cook some barbecue chicken thighs. Well, now you can leave the lid on and know those chicken thighs, when they hit 175, are done. No AC needed. So here's the reason why I think this is a fantastic product. So no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth, no AC, and no problems. It just works and is unbelievably easy to use. Now there are some things they added I really like. The lanyard is such a simple idea and it makes it impossible to misplace the receiver. I think I know where they got the idea. I've fallen and I can't get up. Please note the Smoke X is not a medical alert device, but it can save you from making bad barbecue. The Thermoworks Smoke X is extremely easy to operate. After you turn it on, you just hit the CH or channel button so you can select one of the four channels. Here we are selecting channel one. Now we hit the select button. Then the up button to turn off the alarm and then again to turn it back on. Then you hit the select button again so you can set the maximum temperature. You do that by using the up and down buttons. You hit the select again and now you can set the minimum temperature. To end the programming, just hit select one more time. Now with the main thermometer programmed, you can now turn on the receiver. You will notice at first that the letters CON are displayed. This indicates that the receiver is trying to connect to the transmitter. The on-off button also turns on and off the backlit screen. The volume button allows you to mute or make four levels of volume. This device also has a really good fail-safe feature. If the transmitter stops working, the receiver will in a few minutes make a noise that would wake up the dead. Here I turn the transmitter off. Now this can take a couple of minutes, so I sped up the video, but listen what happens. Now look what happens when the transmitter is turned back on. It connects within seconds. So as you can see, it's easy to use, has built-in protection from transmitter failure, but Thermoworks claims it has a 1.24 mile line of sight range. 
But why is the range going through walls, hills, and trees? Let's find out. Welcome to my home. Here's my new barbecue deck. This is also a work in progress. Here is another bird's side view. We live on four acres, but we are surrounded by hundreds of acres, as you will see. Here I incorporated a Google map so we can see all the surrounding areas. The nine blue markers represent the radius of 300 feet from my barbecue deck. The circumference of this circle is 1,885 feet or just over one third of a mile. Now the reason I use the drone is it has GPS and can measure a straight line distance from where it takes off. Here's the screen that I see when flying the drone. In the lower left is the distance it has traveled after taking off from my barbecue deck. This day was very windy, so I had to fly low and stop every time the drone warned me of heavy wind. But we got there. So the plan is to fly out till we get to 300 feet and then we mark the spot. We then do this nine times in all directions until we have marked spots all around the barbecue deck. So you know the mountains you see in the distance are the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and represent the southernmost sub-range of the Rocky Mountains. Also the elevation of my helm is 7,000 feet. We're 200 feet away from the barbecue deck. All the trees you see are junipers with an occasional pinyon pine. After we mark the nine positions, the challenge is for the Smoke X to not just keep the receiver connected to the transmitter, but to reconnect after being turned off and then back on. So here's what it looks like to be 300 feet away from the barbecue deck. You can also see these trees are not little. I'm six foot six and I look pretty small next to them. Now it is time to run the test. With the receiver, I walk to every marker position and then make sure the receiver is connected. I then turn it off and then turn it back on and let it reconnect. As I move around the house, many of the marker positions are behind numerous trees, our fifth wheel, and our home with six inch and heavily insulated walls. So I could see the temperatures change, I actually hooked up the pellet grill. So channel four was the grill temperature and channel one was a small potato on a needle probe. I let the potato get up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit and then I just turned off the grill. You will see as I walk around and monitor the receiver, the grill is cooling off faster than the potato. The transmitter sends data to the receiver every 30 seconds. So worst case, when the receiver is powered up, it can take up to 30 seconds to show temperature. As I repeated the same test at each marker, the Smoke X worked perfectly. It always reconnected in 30 seconds or less. For those that are intrigued with the drone, the drone is a DJI Mavic Mini and there is a link in the description if you want to learn more about it. 
Also, there's a link in the description to get information on the Thermoworks Smoke X4. We are now two thirds of the way and we are circling back around to the barbecue deck. For those that are doing their own outdoor barbecue kitchen, please subscribe to our channel for we will be doing a complete series of videos on that subject. Also, please check out our video series on umami barbecue. It will change the way you think about barbecue. As you might guess, the 300 foot test was a complete success. But we still have one more test, and that is how far can we go before the transmitter cannot connect to the receiver. The blue marker you see is the furthest I could go and still be connected. This was not anything close to line of sight for we were surrounded by trees and below the horizon. Here's the path I had to take. I had to walk in without the drone for there was not enough visibility because of the trees. After marking the spot, I walked the drone in and then told it to fly home. So the final drone shot is not flown by me, but totally by the drone itself. I just reversed the video so you can see how far the trip was. In conclusion, if you want a bulletproof thermometer that does not need a phone or a computer or even a power plug, is accurate to one tenth of a degree, and can transmit over acres, then this is your product. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Also, we really appreciate you watching.